Welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep, and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything, and we're going to ramble a little bit about No Man's Sky, or actually we're just going to kind of jump in and um, kind of play around with this, as a matter of fact. <clears throat> um, I got this... Oh, I don't know, did I get this last year? I think I got this last year, yeah. Probably can't see me very well. There. Now you can see me. Okay, so the reason why uh, I've been getting into this, and man, I wonder if this is a little too loud, because this sounds kind of loud. Let me see here. General options. Where is our... Oh man, I can't remember my moves here. I totally forgot. That's the general options. Graphics options. Well, where's that audio? Oh, here it is. turn it down to 75. <clears throat> I think that was a little loud. Okay, so No Man's Sky um, has had a lot of controversy around it, uh, that it wasn't released with everything that it was promised. Um, but <clears throat> since its release, it's had some pretty nice updates and this game has really turned into something special I think and there is a big update coming here in July <clears throat> I think we're about a week away from it it's called uh, No Man's Sky Next <clears throat> and that's mainly because of the Xbox it's coming out for the Xbox but it's gonna be a huge update um, as far as multiplayer and everything else and so I'm just kind of here um, in my world before the update because um, I'm going to be probably starting a whole new game because of this update. <clears throat> so I figured I would uh, <clears throat> kind of check things out <clears throat> um, before then. So kind of want to show you the, um, oh my goodness. Okay, the... <laughs> Man, the sound effects are loud. I don't think that made a difference. That doesn't seem to have made a difference. My goodness. <clears throat> Alright, we're attempting to turn down the volume a little bit here okay so we got like three different types of hovercrafts this is a planet that I found that was very very interesting very unique so if you don't know anything about this game this game is completely procedurally generated so the music is procedurally generated the planets are procedurally generated the um, the solar systems so if you were to I mean, 
if you didn't play multiplayer and you just played your own single player games they would always be different and with the procedural generation there's literally like what is it like one quintillion different possibilities of varieties of planets and stuff like that and the more they add um, to this you know the more it's gonna make that uh, diverse it's just <clears throat> it's just really incredible I think so this is the base that I created and this here has got a teleporter which will take me to the last places that I've been and I've used it uh, you basically you can it allows you to kind of quick travel between like your last uh, th three or four spots is it let me see okay so yeah my last four stops but that's it that's all you get so you have to be um, strategic on what you want your last stops to be and the reason why I say that is because in order to get the things that you need you're gonna need money you're gonna need credits and to get credits you can go on missions um, do trade and with a system that's as big as it is having this teleporter to be able to teleport uh, between your base and some of these other things is very helpful uh, especially if you're if you're teleporting uh, from one side of the galaxy to another but once you lose that that's it <clears throat> so let me show you some other okay I missed one of my floors but up here on the very top I've created this uh, observation dome and all of these uh, little plants here they all grow something which is used in uh, crafting <clears throat> for various types of things um, I'm hoping with the next update that there'll be more stuff to craft this stuff is all from different planets different types of planets and stuff and so you have to have like a observation dome look at that look at the Sun come up <clears throat> and these have uh, real day and night cycles the planets do and they rotate and all kinds of other awesome stuff you see the ships they're all coming in and visiting me because I created some landing platforms so we'll go we'll go check those out too let's try not to fall down here ah! ouch okay I haven't mastered the art of going downstairs come on Okay, so me and stairs don't get along the greatest. There we go. So I can't really sit in chairs or anything. There's not too much that you can do with um, some of the objects that you see. These are all storage containers. So here are the things that are in my inventory. Here are the things that are in the storage container. Um, don't want to get into too much detail, but you're limited to the number of storage containers that you can have. Um, big floating rock next to me. So I created this. And that is a alien. It's a, a geck, is what he's called. Bird-like creature and these you get these guys when you do quests for for creating your base and once they give you all these quests and once you finish them all you, know, you kind of really don't need them anymore but I don't know they're just kind of nice decoration um, I can interact with them but 
He's not going to give me anything else. What are you? Don't you see it? Everything in these worlds are built for you. The history of the blood. Blah, blah, blah. And there's that strange scent in the air again. Yeah, these bird-like creatures uh, put scents and stuff up there. Yeah, let's not touch them. So, off in this direction are the landing pads, and one of these is my ship. Oh, that's right. <laughs> it never puts my ship where I land it. Now, that's an annoying thing. I forgot about that. Oh, be quiet. My cat's complaining. So here's another uh, little plant observation thing. Um, this one was going to be specific, I think, to these plants, and I just haven't finished it yet. And this is where that ends. I haven't done anything more. I love the base building. In this, you can really meet, make some neat bases. Now there's another great game that I like. It's called Imperion. Um, the building there is like blocks, uh, kind of like Minecraft, but it's nothing close to Minecraft. And that is, yeah, that's glass there. But yeah, I got this nice little little observation thing here. But you can build your, you can completely customize, you know, build your ships, build your base, and build capital ships, and fighters, and hovercrafts. I mean, you're not, you're not limited uh, as to what you can build. It's really cool. So this is a, um, what is it? I don't want to say a garden. It's, um, like hydroponics, yeah, hydroponics bay. You know, and then I've got another uh, geck, geck guy. So yeah, all these things are used for crafting. And I and everything that you see, I I you know is all decoration. So all these I placed in the plants. Um, and I had to get the plants from you know the specific planets. Um. Or, or once I um, harvested them, I was able to take what I harvested and plant more. So there's that. But like the decorations on the wall, I was able to do. And down we go here. Alright, so we're going to go over here and we're going to go to my ship. It's like I would hate to start over because I have a great ship, but um, I think they're hinting that a lot of stuff is going to change. And so starting with a new ship or a new game will probably be a, a, a smart thing. But So we're going to go ahead and take off so you can kind of see... Um, that's not the takeoff. <laughs> that was not the takeoff button. There we go. So here we go. So we can fly around the planet. See that? So it's cool. We can kind of hover, but it gets really cool because now you can just head right up in the space. There's no loading screen, nothing like that. It's all smooth. 
And there's the planet below us. Now if I want to go ahead and get closer, see, and when we should be able to see those lakes when we get down there, so let's head on down there. Okay, so looks like we won't see those lakes. So isn't that cool? Whoa! What did I find over here? Oh, okay, I've seen those before. They look like stargates, but they're not. There are things in here. There are portals. They. They're, they were inspired by the Stargates from the uh, movie and the TV show. There's a space station up here that you can uh, do some trades with. And do we have any other planets in this system? There is one other planet. I think it's on the other side here. But let's let's go to a di whole different system here. Okay, so you can see here's where we're at. And Do you see all these stars? All of these stars. I'm going to I'm move back here. These, all of those stars we can visit and all of these stars have a system have a planet they might have one they might have a couple they might have five planets each of those planets may or may not have a moon but yeah I mean this is I mean look around and it goes on like forever and ever and ever and ever and ever yeah it goes on for quite a while so like I'm saying you can pick any of these stars and go travel now your um, your engines um, obviously can only take you so far. So I'm not sure how much how much I actually have as far as um Let's go to a place I haven't gone before. 200 light, 89 light years. Wonder how far I can go here. I'm gonna try something. What's something in here? Ooh, there's a green star. That could be interesting. Okay, so we got three planets here. Untroubled. Let's see if we can find another planet. I want to see if I can find something that where there might be some space combat. 487 light years. This is all by itself. One planet? Looks like a planet and a very small one. Conflict level critical. Okay, we're going to wind up being in some type of space conflict with this one. So this, this sounds like the place. Alright, so we're going to warp here.
Okay, so no battles or anything yet. And here's a planet. Now, I haven't been here yet. See, it's an unknown planet. And if you're playing multiplayer, you can literally, you can discover planets, you can name them, you can name all the plants and animals, and you can upload all that information. And uh, you can see what everyone else has uh, done also. So it's kind of cool. And this procedurally generated galaxy is so big that the, the people being able to meet each other is not going to happen very often. That's how big this thing is. Let's scan this. Okay, so this is a windswept planet. See, each of these planets have a different type of biome. Now it says there I'm going to arrive in 9 minutes and 44 seconds, 42. So we can sit here and just fly normally. Or we can go ahead and get ourselves a boost. Get there in about 27, 25. Oh my. Can get some iron. Sparkly, whatever that is down there. And there are mods that you can get for this game that change things. whole new planet different plant life different rocks S sometimes there's different animal life so yeah the plants and the animals are all procedurally generated so that there's a true variety everywhere you go and uh Players will upload pictures of the planets that they, they find. And some of them... I've come across planets that are just simply amazing. Just beautiful. And some are just... Just amazing to look at. <clears throat> the colors and everything. Ah, okay. I need to go this way. All right, so we've landed. And here we are. We're on the planet. And the music will change. It, it changes based on the situation that you're that you're in. Um, depends upon the type of environment you're in. Ah, okay. Drones. They can be. Ah, uh oh, okay. That's not what I wanted. How do I change? I forgot how to change my um. That was not it. What 
the heck did I just do? The drones are protectors, so if they catch you mining or taking things, they will uh, shoot at you. Okay, well, that was not what I wanted to do. Man, what was the button for... S I can't remember what the button was for um, switching modes. Scan, Q, melee, scan, increase, zoom. Change weapon note mode. Oh, it's G. Okay. Ah, there we go. So now we can go up here and we can... Um... Is this what we want? Oh, okay. I did not want to do terrain uh, manipulation. Change the weapon mode. Sorry, it's been a while since I've actually played this, and I'm going to be getting back into it uh, with the next update. <clears throat> Switch map weapon mode. Uh, horn place checkpoint. Delete checkpoint. Boost jump. Fire weapons. Change weapon mode. All right, we looked at that. Roll right. Break thrust. Fire grenade, fire weapon. Why can't I find? Well, this is dumb. Okay. I wasn't thinking. This is changing my stuff. Oh, there's another one. Reload. So he was calling for reinforcements. Ah. Come back here. I get this thing's like rolling all over the place. Come here, come here, come here. Got it. Sorry, checking my phone. Okay. 
Let's go check out another planet. See, there's an, a... Looks like what... Like a couple of trader ships or something over there. Alright, let's see if we can find that. Okay, that's the planet we left. That's a rock. Let's see if we can find that other planet that's in this system. I'm looking at the scanner and I'm not seeing it. There's the sun. It's small, where, wherever it's at. Maybe it's behind the planet. Uh-oh. Oh, that didn't work. I was thinking I could shoot my way through. <laughs> Okay, it must those red dots must be that. Hang on, we don't want to go in the planet. Wait a minute, I think I see it. I see something. There it is. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and scan it. Okay, this is an abandoned planet. Now this can take us two hours, or I can use a boost, and this will take us 12 minutes, or we can engage a pulse jump, which is this, and we'll get there in about 46 seconds. Now you have to have uh, a certain ore in order to fuel that up. So as you can see on my control panel. Awesome, we get to shoot something. Now let's see if we can find them. Where is he? Where is the guy? Where, 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 where is he? He's got, he's on my scanner. Is he over there? That might be him. That's him. Get some space battle here. He's a little tough little bastard. Shoot me with beams, why don't you? I 
All right, yay. Well, we got money for that. Now we can go back to that planet we were planning to go back to. Wherever that planet was at. Oh, there it is. Nope, that's the one we came from. The windswept one. There it is, the abandoned planet. Egongi Nejbar. And we'll get there in 15 seconds. Like we're getting into nighttime here. So look at this planet. So this is our abandoned planet. Crazy, isn't it? So I hear some drones. Sometimes the drones do not like you being where you're at. But it looks like there's some things that we can mine here if we want. Oh no, that's not... That's a cave. But there will be some stuff down in that cave. Yep, he doesn't look like he's alarmed by our presence. Okay, so that is just one solar system of many. Um, and there's just so much. So much that this game has to offer. Assembly. Uh-oh. My hyperdrive has no fuel. I can't hyperdrive anywhere. <laughs> that's not. That's not good. That means I'm gonna have to work on my hyperdrive. Oh well. <laughs> well anyways, um, I hope you found this uh, video interesting um, in regards to No Man's Sky. It is a very fascinating game, I think. Um, and I'm definitely gonna be doing some gameplay videos, so be sure to keep an eye on this channel for those if you're interested in learning more about this game. If you enjoyed my rambling videos, well, then I hope you enjoy these. I make these from time to time on a variety of topics, depending on what inspires me. 
Hope to see you around and thanks for watching.